Okay, second update for this morning. Um, we added a chain to the clutch pedal so that uh, it don't snap out too far when you're in there with empty, with dirty, dirty boots. Your foot slides off the the uh, clutch pedal. You don't spring out and pull everything loose. So we put that guy in there. The other thing we did is reinforce um, between the 79 cab and the mounts for the pedals. We reinforce that. So, and then off over here to the other side, I can show you we how we modified the dash, the ductwork in the dash. To uh, hey, take a look outside here. Huh? This is my back door of my shop. Pretty nice, huh? And this old truck here, that's a rattle can paint job. That truck was resurrected out of the dump, or nearly the dump, on a bet that we couldn't get it running on the weekend. We got it running in one weekend. So, but anyway, back to the project here. We cut the end of the duct for the defrosters. We cut that out, and we saved this little piece here. And it's going to fit right down in here. Kind of like, kind of like so. We got to plug this hole here. We'll get some, build a way to do that. And then this defroster hose here, which goes to the duct that blows over on your side windows. It just tucks back in there. It tucks back in there real tight. And that's going to give plenty of room. That's going to give plenty of room for a um, place for this motor to set in there. So now the only other issue we may be having, we haven't checked it out yet, is this fellow here, that big that knob there, this knob right here. Is he going to run into back over here on the dash? Is he going to run into this area here? And uh, we didn't check on that. We're hoping it don't. It's awful tight in there, but I think we'll make it. So, hope these videos are helping somebody who's working on one of these sort of projects. Um, we sure had our struggles, but we're learning. The learning curve is steep, but we're learning. We're out of here. Adios.